a parade. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to fly. I think Dan's gone insane. This is uh, night six. We're in, wait, Ramon. We're in Ramon Lake. We are making camp back behind the water because the lake is too cold. Uh, the sun is trying to show itself, little bits here and there. So uh, we're not complaining. It's still quite cold, um, but you know, oh well. And we're going to meet the other group at this site, hopefully. I'm thinking they're going to get it. Oh, look at that! Oh, the sun! Yes! Yes! Oh, that feels so good. Anyway, we're meeting the other group here tonight. And hopefully they're okay and they get here in good time. All right, they arrived! Can you explain the charcoal in your face? Um, not really. <laughs> Camouflage, thought we could sneak up. Uh, we don't know how we got the charcoal on our face. It just happened. We woke up like that. <laughs> Kevin Callan told us that we would go crazy on day five. We went crazy on, on day, day four. four. <laughs> Well, it all worked perfectly. The uh, other group met us around 3.30. Uh, they made a really good time today. Uh, we're on Ramon Lake and we're all together. Everybody was all excited. The other group dressed up in black to sneak up on us. Uh, that was pretty cool. We also had the same idea. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they came wild out of the woods and everybody hugged and kissed and it was a, a good gathering. So uh, yeah, as planned, we're gonna stay here tonight and head out tomorrow to catch the bus. And actually, because it's Thanksgiving this weekend, we're going to get everybody's meals together and have a potluck. And uh, that'd be good. I think everybody's going to eat as much as possible to lighten their load for tomorrow. Day six, and we're going to feast so that we have, like, nothing left. <laughs> so our pack's going to be extra, extra light. Is this your uh, last night feast? Yeah, we're it eating all our food. Making everything. Legit, all our food. We're going to have, like, this is our appetizer one. Uh, this is probably going to be a six-course meal. Coming up, <laughs> and we're gonna keep eating until our bags will be empty. Ben's, uh, Ben's, uh, the the w the other instructor with me that went off on the north end, the north, on the south, and uh, how was it? Uh, it was great. Yeah, it was it was a really good trip. Really good group of students, and um, <clears throat> the trail was tough in a few spots. We had some tough weather, um, but they uh, they were a really good group, and we laughed a lot. And I think that's what really, uh, I think that was the highlight of the trip was just how fun, uh, fun the group was. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One day, One our day, group oh. didn't stop like saying, all like all day. We sang oh. like everything from Afro Man to like, uh, the Eagles. I don't really want to go back home. <laughs> Would you do it again? Oh yeah. I loved it. I enjoyed it very much, Kevin. I mean, what was the worst part of the trip? I don't know, maybe tomorrow if I might sink in that we're leaving, that might suck. Definitely a great trip. Definitely a great trip. And what was your worst part? Oh, uh, I lost my sunglasses. Does he realize that there was no sun until today, so he was <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Well, I heard from some birds, I got a letter, and they said that they would rather do a smaller hiking trip rather than a longer hiking trip and they'd be able to get enough practice out of it around the school that we would be able to do it easier make it easier I'll ask Lucas I'm gonna ask Lucas this question all right Luke I have a question for you yeah what's up I was talking to uh, <clears throat> I was talking to some of the students and uh, they, uh, they, they, the question is, uh, for next year, would you rather do a three-day or, or a seven-day? Seven-day. Yeah? 100%. 100%, yeah. But if it was a, a three-day with the, with the split thing and everything happened like it, like it did? Um, maybe not. Maybe not, because people know that they're going home earlier. So they'd be like, okay, well, three days isn't a week of bad weather, whereas like... You know, three days you can go, okay, after three days I can go home. Whereas a week, like, I'm out here for a whole week in bad weather. But, like, I don't know. This was, like, personally the longest I've ever been in the bush. And, like, I love this trip. This was one of the hardest trips I ever did. All right, so uh, Evan and Ben, what did you guys think of the trip? Um, the first part was a little rough. 
and I wasn't so sure coming on it because I did a two day backpacking trip with my dad with really poorly packed bags and it was, they were really heavy and didn't like couldn't do it anymore after two days. We were just like physically couldn't do it. So I was a little uh, uh, unsure about this trip, doing it for seven days with almost the exact same packed bag. And then uh, once pretty much halfway through the trip, we turned the trip right around and learned a bunch of lessons in the same day and the packs got a bunch lighter and just it was a beautiful day and complete 360 and one I think one of my favorite trips now and this is like one of the most valuable trips and a lot of lessons and a, a great a great leader on the trip too yeah for sure I was a little cold at uh, some spots and my shoulder was bugging me uh, when we split up I was actually thinking I was we're gonna take that uh, cabbie home um, and I'm really glad that I didn't. Uh, I had a blast uh, with the four guys that I had and Kevin. Uh, if I could stay out here longer, I would. Uh, maybe just with a lighter backpack. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was all in all a great trip and I can't wait for another one. And you learned a lot about hair design, didn't you? Oh, this is the sexiest hair design anybody, anybody will rock in this day and age. I'm bringing it back. This is from Whoville. Everybody, <laughs> you guys, this hair is coming to you now. I thought it was a very good trip. I got a lot of out of, out of it. Uh, I never thought that I would, uh, well, but when I was thinking hindsight, like when I was thinking about the trip, the seven day trip, I didn't really think about the 92 kilometers as being ups and downs. I sort of didn't really think about it. I was just more focusing on the food I was gonna pack the gear I was going to pack, but and then once I got into the trip, we did about nine kilometers and I was already tired the first day. Um, but as the trip like, kept going, I got a little bit more used to the pack on my back and w walking with it and uh, I got used to it and, I, and once I started to get used to it, I knew that as the farther I would go, I would get more used to it and by the third Thursday, the second last day, I was running to the campsite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I got used to it and looking back at this trip, even like a week from now, I'm gonna think this trip was awesome. So Cal, yeah. it's still working on the sleeping bag. It's going worse actually. It's going worse. The zipper broke in half. <laughs> Don't buy this sleeping bag. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna be cold tonight? You know what we had uh, planned? We're gonna wrap it right. in duct tape. <laughs> I'll be a pepperoni stick for a bear. Uh, so what would you, what'd you uh, this is the last night, what do you think of the trip? Uh, um, would you go for three days, five days, seven days? What was your good thing? I could go for things? more days actually. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I had a great time. Um, not much you could do about the weather, really. Uh, besides that, we had a great time. Me, Evan, Ben, Dan, and you learned a lot bunch of laughs, bunch of things we probably shouldn't know from you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, do tell. <laughs> yeah, it was a great trip. Yeah, thanks a lot, Kevin. I'm ready to go. That is one light pack. Yes. You did not look like that on day one. Yeah, I think you had <laughs> frying pans hanging yeah. off you. Come on. As you can tell, the uh, screws are high. Because we're going out. And it's the bus. I want to follow them. Let's do this. Let's go follow them. It's really not even that cold. And even if it wasn't, we wouldn't even. No one care. Nice and rain. All morning. 